I have a glutton for punishment. This is punishment. This is me paying for my sins. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be talking about vinyl wrapping our Steam Deck. In particular, our Steam Deck with the JSOX backplate. A lot of people are fans of the look of the JSOX backplate. Um, me, particularly, I'm not. I don't really like the transparentness. And as you can see, this plastic scratches very easily and it doesn't feel good in the hands in my opinion so me being diy poppy we're gonna go ahead and cover this thing up with some white carbon fiber vinyl all right the entrance fee for something like this is a plotter uh right here is a cricket i've had this thing for oh, four years now this thing has paid for itself and then some love this thing it's great works great i wish the bed was slightly bigger it's a 12 by 12 or it goes up to 12 by 24 um but overall you can work around it and we're going to be using the cricut program today to cut out our backplate so we're in here in cricut design space i already have everything uploaded and i will include all of these in the description below so that you can pull them out um and do them yourself so couple things I want you guys to know is the dimensions of this. You don't really need to worry about height, but you do need to worry about width. So for the front front bezel, it's 12.25 inches, not millimeters. And for the back plate, it's 13.38. So there are some files out there online, but they don't specify the actual width of the image so when you put it on your plotter it could be super small or super large and to save you time for sizing it down it's 13.38 on the back plate and it is 12.25 on the uh, front plate so no matter what plotter you use um as long as you ha now have these dimensions you're you're gonna have the right size for your steam deck okay so we have a bit of an issue here um with the back plate so so covering up this hot plate in the back um, is something I don't want to do. So what we're going to have to do is figure out where this thing is on the plotter. First thing I need, I need control copy V. Um, I need to hide this one because I need to delete this top part. And in Cricut, the way you do that is by contouring stuff like so. And then what we should be left with is just a top bar. Perfect. Now we're going to need our trusty handy dandy cal calipers. And what we're going to have to do is going to try to figure out the dimensions for this. Our heat pad is roughly 20 inches. We're going to go a little bit outside of that. Probably going to go. Okay, so it's 22.2 is the width. So <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and go into shapes here. And we're going to try to find something that's similar. So this shape right here is pretty, like it says, rounded corners there. Oh, rounded corners. So we're going to have to unlock this thing. And then for our width, we're going to go 2.2. So that's our width. Now we got to measure our height. And then we're going to go slightly beyond it because I want to... Let's go 22.44. Okay, so this little square right here should be the exact dimensions for our hot plate. How we're going to do this is we're basically going to try to eyeball this basically the best we can. And the way we're going to do it is try to center it between these um, heat vents right here. So we're going to try to find the center point here. And we might be slightly off. That's why we made it uh, a little bit bigger than we should have. So that looks pretty much pretty centered. So, so we're going to go 0.14 inches from the top there. And this is how we're going to figure out the distance on here on Cricut. So we're going to go ahead and create another shape and then we're going to change the height to 0 0.14 0 0.14 and that's our height so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this we're going to drag it here to the bottom and what we're going to do is our do our best to eyeball the top i think i'm happy with that right there so we don't need this red bar anymore this was just a measuring stick i'm going to delete that we're pretty close to center on here we got our space we know where our back plate is, so now we're going to go ahead and then all we're going to do now is we're going to highlight this, hold down shift, highlight our back plate, and then what we're going to do is slice. So now we're going to get slice results here, and then these two up here are our slice results for this little box here. So we're going to highlight these two, and then we're just going to delete them. And now we got the opening cut out for our back plate. So let's go ahead and back up. 
and boom. That's what we're looking at right now for our Steam Deck back foot. Um, the only thing different that I am going to do is I'm going to also cut off these wings back here because I, they're just useless in my opinion. Um, they just end up just getting in the way of things. All right, so here we go. That's our backplate for our Steam Deck. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and cut it out. This is why I actually have a grid here is to measure out this vinyl. All right, here's our mat. Um, we're just going to lay it here. This mat has been used quite a bit, so these edges don't stick very well. So I ended up having to put a little bit of tape on each edge. Okay, cool. So all we're going to do is pop this thing into place. Hit this quick hit button. I'm going to hold it down slightly just because I don't want it to catch a lip. There we go. And while that does that, we're going to go ahead and just prep the back of our steam deck by cleaning it off. So when working with vinyl, you want to make sure your hands are as close to oil free as possible. Robbing alcohol, this is 70%. Um, you could use 99, it's up to you. So the surface is pretty clean. Almost of the oil is gone. Oil's off my finger. And that was a very quick cut. Guys, remember hands need to be oil -less. The cut is not the best, but it's okay. Meaning we could cut deeper. Then we're just gonna pull out all our holes. Back here, that's for our big old hot plate. So this is not gonna cover the full back plate, but it's gonna cover a majority of it. Um, we are These parts are still gonna be free, but um, I think for the most part, I kind of really never really like the look of this. Um, plus this drives me crazy. Okay, so hands oil free. Remember, that's very important. Um, we're also gonna have our heat gun. If you don't have one of these, blow dryer will work just fine. I believe D-Brand um, actually uses um, car vinyl in their products. I think, I've, I believe it's a different version but it's, it's car vinyl nonetheless, um, or automotive grade vinyl. Um, theirs might be a little bit thicker. So this is why you wanna make sure that everything, your, all your surfaces are clean, including your fingerprints, because you're gonna be taking this thing on an awful lot. And if you're not into the tedium stuff, you shouldn't do this mod. But I have a glutton for punishment. This is punishment. This is me paying for my sins. Okay, cool, that looks good. I think that looks pretty good right there. What I like to use, and this is also an automotive product, is a scraper, but it has a felt tip on it, one side, so it doesn't scratch the surface. Um, you can get these pretty cheap on Amazon, but these rounded edges right here are the hardest. Extremely difficult to do. That's why we cut this thing off here, because I promise you that's gonna be a nightmare. And we're gonna spread it out a bit. A little bit of heat's fine too. You don't want to go crazy with the heat. You don't even need a lot of heat. We're getting some creases here. And this is the tedium of it, y'all. So this is the this is the hard <laughs> the hardest part, honestly, because that is a beveled corner, and it's proving to be difficult. Yeah, I wouldn't suggest using this style of vinyl just because it really wants to come up because of its rigidness, not because it's tackiness, it's rigid versus tacky. It's pretty tacky, but it's rigidness on these corners are just so freaking strong. Thousands of tears later. And there you go. That's how you wrap the back of a JSOX backplate while still keeping your aluminum heat shield exposed to, you know, cool off your steam deck. So sweet, it's already coming up. We should, do not use a carbon fiber um, vinyl. It is just a pain to use. It's great when it's a flat surface, but like as you can tell right here, it looks great. But on these beveled and raised edges, it is a pain in the ass. Guys, thanks again for watching. Go ahead and hit that like if you liked it. Hit that sub if you loved it. But other than that, I'll catch you guys on the next one.